There's evidence that the coronavirus can spread through tiny droplets floating in the air. When people cough, laugh, sneeze, even breathe. So intensive care doctor Vilas had an idea. Would off-the-shelf air purifiers stop the virus floating around a COVID ward? The results were dramatic. They tested the air without the machines, first of all, and for five days they found tiny droplets of the virus floating around. Then they switched the machines on and the virus went for five days. Then they switched them back off again and the virus came back. So Villa, basically, this was a hunch, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was an idea and uh, we didn't know it would work, I didn't know it would work, and um, luckily we managed to get together a group of people uh, engineers, scientists, doctors, and we went for it. When you got the results, what did you think? Um, I think it's fair to say that we were all fairly gobsmacked by the results. Um, we were able to uh, show that COVID or SARS-CoV-2, the virus, was in the air, measure how much was there, prove that we could get rid of it. It sounds simple, but finding a scientifically robust way of sampling the air is complex. Vilas borrowed this device off a friend. It's normally used to test for anthrax. It traps all the viruses and bugs in a liquid, which they analysed at a nearby lab specialising in infectious diseases. They use the same technique that does the PCR COVID tests you send away. So if you're honest then, when Vilas first came to you with the ID, you didn't think it would work? I was very dubious about not whether the filtration devices would work, but about whether we'd be able to detect things in the air at a sufficient level to actually show that it was there. Now, I know you found the coronavirus, but you found a whole load of other stuff too. What was it and, and was it potentially harmful? Yeah, that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, the amount of things that we detected in the air was quite a lot. We detected a range of different viruses. Uh, we detected a range of different bacteria, but also fungi. Some of them are potentially problematic for human health. What we don't know is if there's sufficient amounts in the air to cause an infection and whether it's a great risk. Most COVID wards are makeshift. They simply aren't designed to filter the air. It needs more research, but this hunch experiment has the potential to make hospitals and other places safer. I hope we can develop a model, which I think we can, for measuring the cleanliness of air um, and proving it is clear, clean, and I think doing that not just in hospitals but there's clearly a, a potential role if we're correct for deploying such capability in care homes and in schools. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.